Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Max on the Questions and today I want to talk to you about a couple of text editors that I've been messing about with. Now I had Write Room on my Mac and I liked using it. I had Byword on my iPad and I liked using that. And I was considering getting something that would work on both of them so that I could easily send stuff back and forth. I could have used a Dropbox so that I could synchronise between the two applications and that would have worked okay. So what I wanted was the same application with the synchronization and through iCloud and that left me looking at Byword. Now Byword actually sort of worked pretty well and I've enjoyed using it with the synchronization through iCloud and I like the fact that I can do work when I'm away from the Mac computer, say when I'm in school for instance, and I get back home and I can pick up exactly where I left off and that's the way that iCloud is supposed to work. And I had one little problem. Now that was when I was scrolling in Byword on the Mac and went to another application and wanted to get something and then go back and then click on to Byword. I found that the scrolling that I did previously would be lost. It would sort of scroll to where I was working before and that really annoyed me. So either I've got to find a different way of working or I've got to find a different application to do this for me or get the application developers to do some repairs to the uh, application because that's not the way that it works in right room on the Mac so if I click on the right room in the Mac after going to another application and I've done some scrolling then the text stays where it is but I might just have to click on the text just to put the cursor in where I want it so that's the way that it should work I think so anyway what I did was I spent the $7.99 to buy the application for the Mac and as I say I was quite happy with this but then that little problem came up and so I ended up looking at Rice Room. Now Rice Room is quite good on the Mac and also for the iPad too. And the thing about the Rice Room, which is why I didn't get it in the first place, was the fact that the uh, extra row of keys that you get on the pictures on the iTunes and on the website, it didn't look like that I hadn't got what I needed for writing Markdown. And... In the end I went and bought the iPad version and I found that you could put whatever keys you liked in there. So now I can do Markdown on the Rice Room app in the iPad and I can put the hash key in there or the asterisk key and that works really well. So I'm quite pleased with that. The only trouble is that it doesn't work through iCloud and I've asked the developers if maybe they'd look at putting that in there in a future version. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like you to go to the subscribe button and press on that so that you don't miss any more videos from Mac 20 Questions. And also, why don't you click on the like button, which is down there, and that will be good too. It helps get the videos found on YouTube. Thanks very much for that. So this is Dave Allen from Mac 20 Questions, and bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.